I feel like crap. Not physically or anything, I'm mean, filtering a little bit, but that's not it. It's Friday, it was Thursday, I did not release a video, and you know I hate doing that. I had seven meetings, and when I say seven, I'm not exaggerating. I mean seven meetings yesterday, back-to-back -back meetings. And then I went to eat, because um, I was starving. Then when I came home, I was like, nope, gonna do it, gonna do it. And never before have I experienced myself falling asleep randomly, that was on my laptop. And I don't remember what happened, I would wake up on my laptop and be like, frick, frick, no. Then I'd think of a video idea and forget it because I'd keep falling asleep and I'd always just keep waking up and be like, what happened, what happened? So I finally TKO'd at like 1 a.m. being like, I can't do this, my brain is obviously too tired. Felt like crap about it because at the meeting I was like, nope, gonna go home and make a video. I was so about it and I thought I was gonna do it and uh, I misread myself. I don't often do that, but I misread myself and I couldn't talk myself into doing it. And that's okay sometimes. I'm, I feel like I'm really good at talking myself into things I couldn't do it yesterday, I feel bad about it, but I'm gonna make up for today. Um, I have two meetings, straight from the meetings, I'm going straight to the airport, so I have to take my suitcase to the meetings. Um, I'm gonna read a bunch of scripts after read on the plane. I will sleep for like an hour or two on the plane, I'm telling myself, you have to read the scripts, you have to. And then when I land, there's a uh, WME Oscars party thing, which I'm going to, so I gotta get ready really quickly and go to that. So we're gonna make up for it by vlogging today, by doing a bunch of things. Also, I didn't vlog yesterday because like I said, I was back to back seven meetings in a row and I can't tell you about any of them, but I did release a special ATTUI video to replace that vlog. So there still is something, so you can check that out. I'll link to it as well at the end, but uh, let's go to this meeting. <laughs> So ladies, tell me if you can relate. Doing your makeup early in the morning when you're tired is like the worst type of torture and pain. When you do your mascara and your eyes are like red and so you're like, eh. Also, we're on the last two meetings as per the statue and dinosaur writing. Fingers crossed, I think it's gonna happen. Yeah, do you? I think. Who else need to make a statue? Imagine my hair is a statue. PewDiePie. I mean, yeah, I guess PewDiePie would deserve a statue. <laughs> Bye, I see PewDiePie here! Okay. <laughs> Um, I was telling Swank I feel horrible when I'm posting a video now I'm gonna just feel bad about myself for the next three hours. But there's popcorn, so that's good. Swank, I'm tired! I think I lost my phone. These are the series of events that are happening right now. <laughs> All right, one meeting down, one more to go. I have this new thing where I love, I, during tour I used to drink hot water and honey, but now it's like my thing. Cause I don't drink tea or coffee, this is just like a warm thing. So now it's like my thing. Every time I have a meeting or every day I might just have hot water and honey because it like soothes the throat, makes you feel good inside. That's the new thing. Honey, hot water, let go. We got one more meeting, all of our stuff is in the corner and then we're flying. Um, I'm excited about this WME party tonight because it's for the nominees of the Oscars that are WME clients. So there'll probably be a, really lo a lot of cool people there. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog because in settings like that, it's like a private residential address. Like you don't wanna be the person that's like, hey, I'm here because like, other people don't wanna be like documented. They're like on their days off, and especially when they're people in the public eye already, like singers and actors and actresses, you don't wanna invade that space. So I don't know how much I'll vlog, but it'll be fun. Swike's gonna come with me. Swike is very tired. We are both are also starving. Is there snacks? What's the snacks? We're, we're getting an ETA on granola bars. Granola bars, amazing. How you feeling? <laughs> Sleepy. Sleepy. When do I get a statue? When do you get a statue? Yeah. Yeah, wait, what is this statue thing? Because I'm like, what is happening? Me, I'm heading to the airport, yeah. I'm gonna get on this plane, um, and then as soon as, well, Sarah's landing one hour after me, which is so strange. Why is this on my flight? It's so strange. Then we get ready for the DWME party. I think I'm just gonna wear the exact same power suit I wore on Fallon because I have nothing to wear and I do not care. I'll put some heels on, try to do my hair a little bit funky, color the day, throw on some winged liner, color the day, bruh. Yeah, you yeah, mean? Yeah, you mean. Ooh, I got a window seat. I switched it, but it doesn't recline. I'm like, it's okay. I don't care if it reclines. I'll take the window seat. I don't want a middle seat. Um, the challenge of eating healthy continues in the airport. The two options close to my gate are McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts. Those are literally the only two food options. This is why I can never have abs. This, this is why. This has nothing to do with the fact that, you know, I don't work out as much as I should, but this is why. This is why. Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, McDonald's. Which one still got breakfast? Let's see that, yo. Let's see that. Primate fun, um, we're heading back. I really feel bad about vlogging days like this because I'm just on a plane all day, but I hope you don't mind. And if you do, let me comment below. Do you care? Like, I feel bad about it because I'm always like, I'm on a plane for six hours and I'm not going to vlog in six hours, so I'm just going to be like... Again, I'm not super worried. I don't want to... But when we land, hopefully this party is dope. Hopefully I can vlog some part of it. Ooh, my eyes moving real good right now. I'm just going to make Milo's conversation. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, but yeah, we're heading back. I picked McDonald's. 
Because, okay, there was, okay, I'm gonna be honest, there was one place that had salads, but who wants a cold salad for breakfast? Like, I need eggs or something, man. Oh, am I a bad person? I don't know. Um, we're heading back. Let go. I'm so happy to be back in the sunshine in LA. Mm -hmm. Humans. Great news, we landed an hour early, so now I have more time and I have like a stress-free time to get ready. Got some good sleep, good rest, feel refreshed, the sun is shining. Just love landing back in California, I just love it. Uh, so, all good things, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, landing back in LA makes me really happy every single time. I'm just so controlled by sunlight. When you feel sunlight, like I literally feel like I have no problems. It's the greatest thing and that doesn't go away. It's not gone away yet. Hello. Um, yeah, I just love sunlight. I'm so happy from within right now. Sunlight! Ah! Also blue gum. Also I'm eating a smurf. Also I'm eating Marge Simpson's hair. All right, it's 4.49. Sarah's gonna pick me up at 7.30. So I got two and a half hours, more than two and a half hours, which is much more than I expected. Everything's working out great. I just got an email saying I have an audition tomorrow morning and I'm like, oh. I, of course I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna try my best, but it's Saturday tomorrow. And usually on the weekends I don't, like the industry shuts down and I was like, I'm, like, I'm gonna go to the party tonight. I'm gonna drink some Cosmos, I'm gonna sleep in, I'm gonna experience the, like I don't really do weekends, but I was like, I might do a weekend. Audition tomorrow morning. It's fine, we go and do it, but I was just like, on a Saturday? It's okay, there's no such things as weekends when you got the hustle, but I'm just saying, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go downstairs, this new like Whole Foods, Trader Joe's type healthy store opened right downstairs in my building, so I'm gonna go get some food and then take a shower and then get ready leisurely. Might even curl my hair. I talk so much crap, you know? Don't take a nap! No, I step on the plate. I'm, not, I'm tired at all. I'm just hungry! All right, so I just messaged Sarah who just landed and I was like, yeah, I just know how an audition slid into my calendar. She's like, slid into my calendar for tomorrow morning. And she was like, hey, we can try to reschedule, but you know, you know, and I was like, listen, I sent her an audio and I'm like, listen. I'm gonna do the audition if I gotta do the audition. If I have to do the audition, you know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wake up early, I'm gonna try my best to memorize, I'm gonna do it. I'm not the type of person that's gonna say I'm not gonna do it. But I was really excited to go to a party on a Friday and then sleep in on a Saturday because I rarely get to do that. And I was so excited to be like, oh my God, I can like come home and be irresponsible. Like go to bed late, wake up late. Like I was really excited, but I'm like, if it can't be rescheduled, that's fine. But just the thought of it being able to be rescheduled is exciting me so much. Like. I could just enjoy myself at this party, wake up tomorrow whenever I want, oh, which I feel kind of guilty about because yesterday I didn't make a video anyways, but I also have to remember that in the span of the last three days, I have had 11 meetings back to back, and I'm just like, you're a human, shut up, Lily, it's fine. So at the thought of it being rescheduled, I'm very excited. It might not be, but we'll see what happens. Let's go eat. Okay, the place downstairs is a bomb. I'm gonna eat there every single day. I got this salad. Every time I get a salad, I'm like, I wish I had this, I wish I had this. They had everything. Got cauliflower, broccoli, tofu, chickpeas, beans, sunflower seeds. I love sunflower seeds in my salad. Got spinach, got lettuce, got mushrooms, got corn, got carrots, got egg, got everything. I'm so excited about this. This could this could be a game changer for me. Game changer. I just rubbed my eye and has mascara on it. No, so the audition couldn't be rescheduled. So it is tomorrow. It's fine. We're not gonna complain. We're gonna do it. It's at 11, so it's not that early. I just have to wake up early to memorize it, but it's okay. We're not gonna complain. These are the opportunities we're grateful for. I'm gonna start getting ready. That salad was so good. So, so good. I'm so happy with it. Um, I'm gonna take a shower and clean my body now. Me go clean my body now. In the shower with the hot water and the dove soap, eh. And me go and go rub a dub, 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 in the tub, tub, rub a dub, dub, in the tub, in the I need help. <laughs> All right, so I got a little bit of extra time, so I'm actually going to curl my hair a little bit because I don't want to put it up and deal with the headache. Um, that's what's going on. I'm wearing this sparkly thing, I'm wearing the same suit of style, but with this top under, and I'm gonna throw some heels on. That's what I should probably curl my hair. Oh! Not gonna lie, I kinda miss my girls. I got a drank in my hand, got a curling iron in the other one. Where my girls at? No, Shanice. Not Shanice, you know where you at? Yeah. Eh, what the bomb clot this thing? Eh, we like this. We like this. It's not. It's it's like it's like ninety percent good. I need to learn how to do this. Like, what is what is happening here? Where the bomb clot curling iron? Did this girl? So Sarah calls me. She's like, yeah, so and so's not coming. So like, should we still go? I'm like. Girl, we're going. I'm standing here ready. Did my nails? Did my hair? Did my makeup? We we going. Don't don't are we this girl? Or should we still go, girl? Let's get over here and pick me up because we going. Ah ah! Ah ah! I'm just drinking by myself waiting for my ride. This is my life right now. I am so okay with this.
tell them I mean, it might have hurt one or two people. Alrighty, well, my hair is pretty much frizzed up now, but whatever. Sarah's gonna, a couple minutes away. I'm not taking my vlog on camera, but I will take my phone because it's too bulky. I can't fit it anywhere. Uh, but I will take my phone in case I'm allowed to vlog. Then I'll vlog something. If not, then I'll just talk to you when I get home. Mm, bye! So this is someone's residence, right? Yes. <laughs> Tina Faye's over there, and I'm just like... Someone's house. Okay, so Big Sean is here, Pharrell's here, LL Cool J is here, Tina Fey is here, uh, Matt Damon is here, Ben Affleck is here. So many people are here. My chill is like, this is literally me. Look, <laughs> swipe. <laughs> it's cool. Obviously, I'm not vlogging or taking any pictures. I'm trying to play it cool, but it's mad inspirational to be in the same room, so I'm like feeling it. I have no words. <laughs> I just thought LL Cool J's lips in real life. My life is done. It's done. I'm good. I'm good. Did you talk about Ben Affleck? Ben Affleck. And yeah. Matt Damon. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like, talk about literally, Tina Fey. Tina Fey. Tina Fey. Everywhere you Adam? turn. Yeah. Everywhere you there. turn. Is someone. So I know. They're no. like all here, like normal people, just chilling, and I'm just like, they just like came here in a car and walked into this place. It's just, just like, strange. It's so weird. They're just like, us. and it's so weird. Holy crap! That was crazy. Okay, I'm back home now. I did a little bit of vlogging on my phone. So many people, it was like that situation, everywhere you turned there was someone and it was like so overwhelming because you couldn't talk to them because it wasn't like a environment to be like, hi, I'm so and so, I'm a fan. It wasn't that environment, it was very like professional, but like Wiz Khalifa was there, Leonardo Di DiCaprio touched my back when he walked by me, I was like, don't kill me. Justin Timberlake was walking in when I was walking out. I met LL Cool J and I like, was like, hey, I was telling him about how, um, Inquisitive made a pa painting of him and then he took a picture with it and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm his, I'm his friend and he was like, he, he introduced himself to me. I met Tyler the Creator, it was just like full of people, Rebel Wilson, just like it was crazy, absolutely crazy. And I didn't want to leave because I was like, God knows who's going to walk in. And Selena and Dwayne are both part of WME. Um, I don't think they were there though, but it was just crazy, it was so inspirational. Everywhere I looked there was like a celebrity and I was like, oh my God, how am I here? How am I? How was I invited to this? But it was the coolest thing ever. Because there's just like normal people walking around and I'm like, how the hell are you right beside me right now, Leonardo DiCaprio? Don't kill me. How are you just standing right here? Don't kill me. It was insane. So insane. Um, it's not even that late. The time is 11.27 and um, I'm going to wash my face. I gotta edit this vlog. I need to read the script for tomorrow, memorize it, and do all that stuff. Um, and yeah, but it was just so crazy. Like, I met LL. I met LL Cool J's lips in real life. This, he, he, I walked by, I smiled at him, and he's like, hi, nice to meet you. And I was like, <gasps> your lips, don't kill me. <laughs> LL Cool J's lips. I met LL Cool J's lips. That's all I have to say. Yoda shiny medicine on my face. Don't, don't mind. I'm gonna go to bed. Today was a crazy, surreal, crazy, I don't even know situation. Like, I'm just gonna lie in bed like this and figure out what the F just happened. Um, I'm going to read the script, memorize this ish, wake up tomorrow, and then you know what? After the audition, I don't have much to do. I might like do some leisure things, catch up on some work, of course, but like do some leisure things. Um, that's what's up. That's what's up. We's back in LA, back on the grind. Uh, I'm so glad you joined me on these crazy experiences. I don't know who else I'd be telling right now if you weren't here with me, so thanks for joining me on this journey. And uh, another day tomorrow. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe! Yeah. But this meeting one right now actually is because, okay, so thinking about in New York to put up, I don't know if you, yeah, you read the emails, this massive stra statue, and they think since the digital space is like so overtaking the world that they were gonna pick me to build a statue Well, of, we're not 100% right? positive that's, that's what gonna this be a about. statue of Lily, but yeah. we're pretty sure it's gonna be a statue of Lily. Yeah. It's kinda like a little nod to the analog world, yeah, yeah, the yeah. digital world. Yeah. That's what this meeting's about right now. Yeah.